A very interesting story caught my attention. Yesterday, when I was reading a story, the story goes, the king wanted his subject, the painters, to paint the picture of happiness. How does an happiness look like? So all the painters got into their best art. And then finally all the paintings were been displayed. And to everyone's surprise, the painting which was been awarded as one of the best painting, there was nothing cynic about it. Everything was so turbulent. And everyone was thinking, like, hey, what has happened to King? The painting doesn't have anything cynic about it. It doesn't reflect happiness. So why the king has awarded him? Is it by some mistake? And all his subject, the kingdom, people were discussing. And that's the time king came in. And he said, Dear friends, please look at the painting very carefully. So all of them, they looked. They saw that the storm, there was storm around. The, the clouds were like dark. I still couldn't understand like, what the king was trying to buy. He said, look at that river and the rock. And just behind the rock, there was a hen who was taking care of its children. And that's what the king said. That the true happiness is, whatever is going around you, you are still able to focus on your task being mindful it is so difficult to be mindful to shift our focus from mind being full to being mindful isn't it and this is so important especially if you are set on your entrepreneurship journey so now how can one be mindful because in an entrepreneurship journey, they are going to be up and down every day. And it's a lonely journey, isn't it? That's where you need to activate your inner compass. That's where the power of personal leadership comes in. Stay tuned. In the next video, I'm going to reveal a few secrets about it. Till we meet again, stay blessed. Signing off, Pooja Thalisa Bandari from Singapore, personal leadership coach. Thank you. Bye.